I'm Denise Austin and welcome to Fit and Light. Today we're going to target our abs, do some Pilates to flatten the abs and trim and slim the waistline. Then I'll help you get out of that nutritional rut. We're exercising from the beautiful Boulders Resort and Golden Door Spa in Carefree, Arizona. Good morning. Let's begin our workout with a deep cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose and exhale right out the nose. Deep cleansing breath. Bring in that great energy and let out any stress. Just exhale it right out. You're here now. We're going to stretch and tone. Then we're going to go right into cardio light. And today I'm really going to focus on those abs. So we get a nice tight tummy through Pilates, some great exercises to trim and slim that waistline, an area we all need to work on, the core muscles of the body. And exhale it out. And let's stretch side, lean into the stretch, stretch way over, that's it. Hold that stretch, and now bring the other arm up to it, to temple hands, and hold that stretch. That's it, we're gonna begin the day right with some healthy exercises, energizing your body, yet feeling relaxed, refreshed, ready for your day. And lift up and over. Start with one arm first, just reaching, stretching, elongating the spine, giving it space. Wake up that back, wake up that body, that's it. And now gather the hands together, hold and clasp them together, and. Hold that stretch, all oh, feels great. Come up, 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 using your abdominal muscles. Wonderful, and let's go right into warrior. Hold that stretch, open up this leg. You wanna feel it in your inner thighs. That's it, great. Hold the warrior, feel the stretch. Get deeper into the stretch, you can do it. Wonderful, and now slowly lift the arm up. The other hand reaches back and down and feel that stretch. It's one of my favorite stretches. Oh, it opens up the chest, opens up your heart. So good for you, it improves your posture. Great, and slowly come down. Reach all the way to triangle. Reach, 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 your hand down to the ankle if possible. Or, if you're a little more flexible, how do you feel today? Every day is a new day, see how you feel. Give it a try. Always challenge yourself. That's it, good. I started in 1981 on the Jack LaLanne Show, and I still talk to him to this day. He's my mentor, he's 89 years old, and he changes his routine constantly, challenges himself. Isn't that great? So varying your workout is so important, and that's why every day you'll notice I do here for you. A different workout, a different stretch, a different body spot, so by the end of the week, we've got it all. Hold that yoga pose, a warrior. You're strong, you feel relaxed. And bring your arm up and over. Feel the opening of the chest. I love this stretch. And now slowly come all the way up and slide your hand down to triangle. Hold that stretch. Reaching that hand down, if you can, to the floor, to the ground. Hold it, you got it. Can you open up your chest here? Really rotate, that's it. Good, you're doing great, I'm proud of you. Can you feel it? Oh, feel the wonderful effects of yoga. I love yoga. Great, bring your legs together and stretch through the ligaments of your ankles and knees. Go get your shoes on, I'll be right back. Are you ready to burn calories? Well, let's get started. We're going to have a little fun now. Come on. Get yourself ready for some fun cha-chas to burn fat, to burn calories, and work our cardiovascular system. Remember, your heart is a muscle, so we need to keep it in good shape. Condition that heart. That's right. Just take it forward and cha-cha. That's it. Good. Forward, cha-cha. Good. You got it. Just enjoy yourself. You're right there in the privacy of your own home. Let loose, come on, feel free, a little freestyle. Good, enjoy yourself. It's 
all about enjoying on our journey. <laughs> our journey to better fitness, better health. That's it. Two more, just like that. Good. Last one. We're going to turn side to side now. Here we go. Side. Good. Side. You got it. Move that body. Shake it out. Great. Just have fun. That's it. Good. We're going to burn some butter. Smile. We're going to burn that fat. Yeah. It's time. Go. Good. Try to pull in those abs. Always practice good posture. Pulling in the abs up and in. Yes. That's it. Good. Cha-cha side to side. Now I want you to add a little arm. Cha-cha here. Use your arms. Turn your hips. That's it. Turn your hips. You got it. Great. Just move that body. Good. Good. Woo. Get into it. Great. Two more, just like that. Boost that metabolism. Really work that body. Rev it up. Last one. Side to side now. Good. Just work those legs. That's it. Good. Really work them. This helps the inner and outer thighs. Working yourselves laterally, just like this. Great for that tennis game, too. Yes. Good. Work that body. Great. Keep moving. That's the whole goal. You can do it. That's it. And if any time you feel like you're in a nutritional rut, add a little zest to your food. A little lemon, maybe vinegar, some mustard. That's what I do. I put a little vinegar inside my chicken when it's cooking. And mmm, it tastes so good. It adds a little zest to it. Squeeze some lemon on it, a little orange juice, and it tastes so good. You'll love it. Plus, it's no extra fat, low in calories, and it makes all the difference in the world for taste. Last one. Hold it right here. Lift the knee up. Lift it up higher. That's it. Good. Lift. That's it. Lift. Lift the legs. Excellent. Lift it up. That's it. Last one. Hold it up now. Lift those legs. Beautiful legs. Lift them higher. That's it. Work those legs. Great. S really strong backs. You can do it. Yes. Stick with it. Each and every day. Good. Also, another way to really kind of get out of that nutritional rut is to try different foods. That helps, too. But did you know it takes about two weeks for your taste buds to really enjoy something? So if you're going to change, like to instead of a baked potato, do a sweet potato. And if you don't like the taste, don't worry. Take your time. Be patient. In a couple weeks, you'll like the taste. You get accustomed to that taste. Good. I do that with my kids, too. Add a little soy for their shakes, for their milkshakes. <laughs> and that helps. They don't even realize it. OK, I'll bring it down. There you go. Good. Work those legs. Get down there. How low can you go? Wonderful. Good. Switch legs side to side now. Just feel it flowing. Great. Really pretty legs. Stretch them out. That's it, great. Is your back straight? Pull in that tummy, belly button in. That's the key, good. Lift the body, lift it taller. That's it, kick that leg a little higher. Come on, give it your all, you can do it. Good, higher, get that leg up. Well, see it up there, come on. That's great. I feel as though you're my best friend. I'm trying to get up off that couch and exercise with me. And I do it. <laughs> Keep going, I'll be right back for your abs and Pilates workout. Welcome back.
back to the beautiful Boulders Resort in Carefree, Arizona. Let's begin our Pilates workout to really target our abs. The first exercise is a fabulous one that really works the front of your abs. First of all, I want you to hold your body upright in this pose. Hold your chest up. Shoulders are completely off the floor. That's it. And then switch and switch. This is one of my favorite moves because it works the lower tummy too. These are all the best exercises that I'm giving you to really help flatten the abs, work the lower part of your abdominals, as well as the waistline. So they're very targeted, very effective. Just do them. <laughs> and you will see the difference. Now, flat stomach, really engage your muscles, engage your abs, it's called. Really pull it down. Feel the powerhouse working right here. It's nice and tight. Feel the muscle. Can you feel it? Good. I want you to feel it. And always breathe out. Just like that. That's it. Great. That's it. Two more. Just like that. Good. Last one. And take a breather. Relax the neck. Relax the shoulders. Just hold it down. Elevate both feet now. Turn the toes out like first pose. First position in yoga and ballet. And lift and down. Really target the muscles in the lower tummy now. This is one of my favorite ones. This is what really helps, especially after you've had babies, like a lot of us. <laughs> Two, <laughs> for me. So this is what's really going to matter, working the muscles that are really on the lower part of your abs, below the belly button. That's it. I love these. They are very effective. What you're doing now is almost pretending you're going to Place the footprints up to the ceiling. Try it again. Place the footprints up to the ceiling. Flex your feet, lift it up. Make sure you pretend like you're, oh, I'm gonna touch my footprints on that ceiling. Good. Make a difference in your tummy. Make it work. Last one. Good. Okay, bring your knees to your chest and roll up. Straight legs. This is called a roll up. Roll all the way up, 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 up. Back is nice and straight at the top, that's it. And fold over. Now this in Pilates is really sucking and concaving your abs. And now slowly roll back down. Flex your feet, roll back down. Can you do that? Try it again. And roll up, let me see you roll up, roll up. You can do it, come all the way up. Sitting up nice and tall. Now pull your tummy in. Pull it back, make it thin, make it skinny, make it in. Belly button is in. Almost feel as though someone's behind you, pulling your hips back. Hold it, hold it. Okay, one more time, roll down. All the way down, that's it, roll down. Good. And relax, slowly bring your knees to your chest. Inhale, and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. This is called a double leg stretch. Good. Lift the body and pull it together. Good. Excellent for your abs. This is it. This is where you're going to really get it stronger, get it flatter. This is a great exercise. Strengthening your abdominal muscles. Good. Last two. Come on, give it all you've got. Inhale and exhale. Good. And inhale and exhale wonderful roll yourself up like a ball roll up good and now legs come apart slightly apart lifting the waistline up that's it and reach side to side side and side that's it and side lift up and side you can do it good you're doing great just lift your body great this is for the sides of the waistline side lift up Side and lift up. Good. Last one. Excellent. And twist to the side now. Twist here. Lift up. And twist here. And lift up. Beautiful. Twist. Great. You can do it. It's for the sides of the waistline. No more love handles. That's great. Now, for those of you that really want to zest up your foods, vary your vegetables. Make them the richest colors. Buy things that are all the brightest part of the green. So spinach is better than iceberg lettuce. Anything with a little richer color is better. 
a little more vitamins and minerals in your veggies. Vary those veggies. <laughs> Good. Also, what I like to do is add a little ways to make my vegetables better. And one of the things that I do is I put a little of that uh, chicken uh, stock, like almost the chicken, defatted chicken broth, and I boil my vegetables in that. And you know what? It adds really good flavor. Good. Two more. You can do it. Last one. And now sit up nice and tall, nice and tall. Bring your legs together. Good. Now what we're going to do what's called a can-can in Pilates, working the sides of the waistline. Pick up your toes. That's it. Work it. Pull it in and out and in and out. Excellent. In and out. You could do it. Great. Work that waistline. Yes, it's worth it. Keep going. I'll be right back with yoga. <laughs> Welcome back to the beautiful Boulders Resort. Let's begin our yoga practice together. Lift your body all the way up into a T-stand, all the way up. Your goal here is to reach your chest open and really lengthen through the arms. Don't crunch in like this. It's about lifting away from the body. That's it. Stretching and toning that body from head to toe. Hold that body. Reach. That's it. And now slowly come down and feel the stretch on the sides of the waistline. Hold the stretch. Feel it. Lengthen your body. Great. And come all the way up. And switch sides. Bring your other arm all the way up. Lengthen up first for a T-stand. It's like a, almost a modified triangle. But what you're doing here is you're opening up your chest and you're lifting, lifting. Feel the reach. This is great for the spine. Giving it stretch space between each vertebrae. Very important. Hold that stretch. Hold it, hold it. Great. And slowly come down and lift up and over for a wonderful leg stretch, as well as for the sides of your waistline, for the lower back. And hold if you can. Temple hands and reach further. Give yourself a really good stretch. That's it. Excellent. And now slowly bring your legs together in front of you, lifting your hips all the way up, lengthening the spine, stretching through the rectus abdominis muscle, your abs. That's it. Hold it up there. I'm proud of you. You did it. Great. Lift higher, higher, and slowly come down. And one more time, stretch your back. Up. And now lift the buttocks off the floor. That's it. Up, 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 up. Lift those hips up. Strong arms. Lift your body taller. That's it. You can do it. And now slowly come down. Bring your body in tabletop. Hold your back nice and straight. Let's round the back to open up the spine. Open up the back. Stretch your back. Great. And now release it. Oh, that's it. One more time. Round the back like a cat. That's it. It's really good for the muscles of your back. And release. Good. Now lift one arm up and one leg up. Opposites. That's it. Great. And now if you can, bring your foot around. Grab hold of your foot and lift it, lift it, lift it. Great for your back. Great for your arms. Stretching your legs. And release. And try it the other one. First, the arms are straight. You elongate the spine. Then you open it up. You grab hold of that foot if you can and give it a good stretch. That's it. You did it. Good. This one's challenging. Give it a try, though. Just even if you're in the stretch for a few seconds, tomorrow you might be able to do a little better. Every day you get better. Be patient with yourself. Listen to your body. Do what you can. And now slowly relax. Lower back stretch in child's pose. This is probably the most relaxing back stretch that you could do. If you ever have lower back problems, this is a great stretch. And now slowly sit up nice and tall. Inhale and exhale. Keep stretching. I'll be right back. Log on to LifetimeTV.com for great exercise tips. We 
did it. Yes, give yourself a big hand. You accomplished a workout. I'm so proud of you. We burned about 300 calories. Plus, we targeted those core muscles, those so important ab muscles. You did it. Here are a couple ideas for you to really spice up your food. I love to use crushed red peppers. Top it on a salad or put it in your chicken or fish. It tastes good. Plus, did you know crushed red peppers or cayenne pepper will help boost that metabolism? That's right. Or add some texture to your food, like put granola inside your yogurt, or maybe crunch a little tortillas inside your salad. It's really good. Plus, it adds a little something to your food. Stick with me each and every day. I'm proud of you that you're really doing it. You'll lose weight. You'll feel better about yourself. Up next is my daily workout. So come on, you can do it.